All right, Nevada Virtual, juniors, seniors, um, another proficiency exam problem, 89. Uh, this is an example from uh, California high school exit exam, which is the equivalent of Nevada proficiency. And the question is, which of the following could be the graph of y equals x to the third? Okay. And just by looking at the two um, samples here, and at the given equation, the fact that you have x to the third power should tell you that a and b cannot be the answers because these two functions are linear functions. As you can see, you have straight lines. And because you have straight lines, these are not representing or possible representation of y equals x to the third. Okay, we're moving on. C and D, which one may be the one we should be referring at? And if you guys remember from one of the previous problems we solved, or from one of the problems that you solved in your um, 9th grade, 10th grade, if you have y equals x squared, what do you notice here? All the values, no matter what values for x you get, all your y's are going to be on this side of your y-axis, right? Because for this case, regardless what your x is, your y is always going to be positive. But for the given equation, if I have y equals x to the third, if I'm having, let's say, 1 for x, right? So this, let's make the the top line here, like a t-table, right? x and the bottom one, y. If x is negative 1, what is y equal to? Well, y will be negative 1 to the third power, which is negative 1. If x equals 1, y will be 1 to the third, positive. So as you can see, for all the positive numbers, I will have a positive y. And for all the negative numbers that I'm plugging into this equation, y will be negative. So knowing that, I can say with certainty that d cannot be an answer because in d, y is always plus, right? I don't have any value for y being in the negative. So this is not good. And you're left with c. And yes, indeed, as you can see, if I have a positive x, the point on my graph would have a positive y, right? And if I will have another point here, its x is a negative, and its y will also be a negative 1. So C is the graph of y equals x to the third. And you are done with this problem.